On the org mode mailing list, somebody asked recently if it was possible to get the images that are shown in uh, overlays for LaTeX fragments to disappear when the cursor was on them. You can toggle these with Control C, Control X, Control L, but it toggles all of them, and in the normal org mode installation, you can put your cursor on one and type Control C, Control C, and it will remove it, and then you can put Control C, Control X, Control L to get it back on. But that's a lot of, of toggling to uh, if you're trying to fine tune it. The idea that I had to solve the, the this problem is if we had a function that knew where the point was and knew where the point is, then by logic it could figure out what it should do. So for example, if you were in text and then on a fragment, we should remove the image from the fragment and when you move from the fragment to either text or another fragment, we should put the image back on uh, that other fragment. So we do that and add the function to a post command hook so that every time you move the cursor, it gets run. So let's, let's take a look. Here I define a variable that's gonna store the last fragment that you were on. And then here is a function that's gonna toggle uh, that fragment depending on what we need. So when we're in org mode, we get the element at, at the current point. And if we were on a fragment, and now we're on a new fragment, then what we need to do is, uh, is turn the image onto the old fragment and remove it from the new fragment. It turns out this was a little bit tricky. Uh, if you edit the fragment, then the current fragment does not equal the previous fragment. And so the best I could come up with is to check that for every event, they beginning is the same. Okay, so if, if that's true, we go to the previous fragment and uh, add the image back on, and then go to the current fragment and remove the overlay. If we were on a fragment and now we're not, then we just uh, go down here and re, uh, add it back to the last fragment and say if the last fragment is nil because our last position was not on one. And finally, if we were not on a fragment and now we are, then we just go to the uh, new element and remove the image um, and store it as the last one. And finally, we add this uh, to the post command hook. So let's run this and, and check out how it looks. So here is uh, the three the equations that I have. I can now click on one and it automatically uh, goes back. And if I move the cursor off, the image comes back. It takes a little bit of a delay to uh, generate that image. But once you uh, get used to it, you can, you can go back and forth pretty quick. You can click on these uh, and just go back and forth between them. Or you can mouse, mouse around, uh, and that's, that's the, uh, the way it is. So I think that's pretty uh, pretty convenient. Uh, there's only a few things I'm not totally sure about the best uh, best practice. Uh, one is how to remove the overlays. I just loop through here and return the first overlay that seems to be at the uh, uh, within the point. Uh, that may or may not be the the best way to do it if you have say a hundred different equations. Um, but otherwise, this works out pretty well. Uh, maybe somebody will find it interesting.